have received a query regarding saving views and restoring these views in AutoCAD. See, why do we save views? When we save a view in AutoCAD, you are actually saving a drawing in its given position, magnification and orientation. I'll demonstrate it with an example so that it will be more clear to you. First of all, we will try the view command in a 2D drawing. Here, I would like to work on this living room. This screen is perfect to perform such a work. So I'll give move command and I'll move this depot from this particular point to a different position for example. Next I might again come back to the same living room to perform some other activity. So what I'll do is using the view command I can save this view. And how do we give the view command? For that you have two options. You can either click on the visualize tab in 2016 version of AutoCAD. In the previous versions you can click on the view tab. Okay, in 2016 it is on the visualize tab. You have a view manager button. Just click on that. So you'll get a view manager dialog box. Here you have the model views, layout views and all the preset views. When you click on each of these views, you can switch over to the top view, bottom view, left view, etc. But I'm not going to do that. I would like to save a new view. So just click on the new button. So you will get a new view dialog box. So I'll just uh, give a name for this view. I'll call it as living room. Okay, and I'll just give okay and apply to exit this dialog box. Next, I would like to work on this balcony, for example. Okay, after performing some activity here, if I want to come back to the same living room to continue working, so I don't have to do all those manipulations again. But instead, all I have to do is just click on the view manager button and you already have a living room here. Just click on that and just click on the set current button and apply and OK. So you have got that view back. So this is how you save and restore a view. So when you restore it, you came back to the same magnification, position and orientation. The view command can also be given at the command line. So I'll type view using the keyboard to get the same dialog box. Alternatively, you can also type hyphen view. When you give hyphen view, you will get all the options which you see in the dialog box appearing in the command line. So you can just click any desired option. If I want to save a view, just click on the save. And if you want to restore a view, just click on restore. In that case, you have to type the view name that is to be restored. So that's another option to give view command. Next, let's try the same view command on a 3D drawing. So I'll just switch over to a 3D drawing here. And this is a three dimensional model of a residence. Suppose if I want to work on the door in the first floor balcony, I can just magnify that area and I'm going to freeze the roof as well as the gutter at the bottom. So these two objects are kept in two different layers. So I'll go to layer panel and I'll just freeze the 3D roof as well as the 3D gutter layer. Then I also have another layer called 3D roof wood. I'll also freeze that layer. Now the roof portion is completely frozen. Now I can comfortably work in this area. Suppose I have completed my work here. I can save this view. So I'll go to visualize tab, click on view manager. I'll click on new button and I'll call it as first floor balcony. Okay. And that view was saved. Now when you click on a new button to create a view, you can see that the save layer snapshot with the view is checked. That means while you capture the view, the layer state is also saved along with the view. So let's see what happens when you check this option. Okay, now I have already captured a view called first floor balcony. Next I'll just zoom out and uh, I'll just orbit this model after calling back all those layers which were frozen. Now I would like to capture a perspective view from this model. So I'll just hold on the shift button and the scroll wheel simultaneously to orbit the model. Okay. Then I'll just right click at the view cube and click on perspective to get a perspective view. Okay. This view is ideal to conduct a presentation. Now I'll just save this view. So I'll again go to visualize tab, click on view manager. I'll click on new. I'll call it as perspective. Now I have two views saved. Okay, 
So let's see what happens when I click on the first floor balcony view. So I'll click on view manager again and I'll click on the first floor balcony and click on set current and apply and OK. Now you can see that those layers will get automatically frozen since the layer status was also saved along with the view. Suppose if you disable that option or if you uncheck it, AutoCAD won't save the state of layers while you capture the view. Next I'll restore the perspective view. I have perspective here and click on set current and I'll give apply and OK. So I've got that view back. This is how you make the best use of the view command in 2D as well as in 3D.